And I look up on the hill because I could see where he was looking. And sure enough, I could see a bear just walking right up toward the crest of the hill. We had a pretty good feeling that all we needed to do is get up on that hill as quickly as we could. And maybe we get the bear going down the back side of the hill. But a lot easier said than done. You know, back to the drunken sailor routine. This is slippery, slippery stuff that we're trying to go through. All this blow down and slashing. So we just blaze our way up that up the top of that hill as quickly as we can, trying to get on that bear. He gets up to the top of the hill and he says, there it is, there it is. I don't have a real good look at him, so I got to shift position a little bit. And just as I'm plopping the rifle down, he looks up and that nose comes up. Just as he was turning to leave, I put the hammer down and bam, I hit him right in the shoulder. <laughs> when it happens, it happens quick. We uh, we had to dig a little deep on that bear. What right? a rush. <laughs> All I know is I came over here and he was looking dead at me. I was just elated. I mean, not only did we have a bear on the ground, we had a good bear on the ground. We better get down and find him. He's making me nervous. I can't see him. Oh, man. Nice bear too, isn't he? I mean, he's a boar, really definitely. Like yeah. How big you thinking? Uh, he's over six. He's six two, six four, something like that. We'd worked pretty damn hard for this bear. We spent a lot of time down the creek. We'd done a lot of hiking. We'd been boating. We'd been out in the truck. We put in our in our work, and under some pretty tough conditions, we managed to get a pretty darn good bear.